Guys, what can I say? Um, we all hate losing to Tottenham. It hurts a lot. But where did we go wrong today? It was flat. That's what it was. It was nothing like... How can like, you be flat in a North London it derby? Was nothing like two weeks ago. It was proper, proper flat. I think we just didn't turn up today. That's, that's just the crux of the story. We just never turned up. Um, I thought... I thought um, Maitland Niles had a very, very poor game, um, and it progressively got worse. I think. I think His confidence it, went, didn't it? Yeah, got got so bad. I think um, again plays Jacker at centre back. I'm not going to blame him because I don't think he was at fault for any of the goals. But um, again, like, I think he should have been in, in the centre of the park. Guendouzi, I said it before. I don't think he's ready yet to be playing consistently like that. Gave the ball away a few times, and overall we just looked sloppy. We didn't look like we really wanted this game. But I don't want to, like I'm hearing the rest of the people getting interviewed and they're being so dramatic, like, oh, like, like we've been losing and it's last year. Like, we've lost two games on the spin, yes. One's a cup game, one's a prem game, but there's still progress under Emery, isn't it? So let's, let's remember this. Let's remember that the guy's been in the job for only six months. So allow him to build his team. He's going to have a transfer window in January. Hopefully we can bring in one or two players just to strengthen and then afterwards we go again in the summer. Do, do, do you think Emery made some mistakes today? Um, not starting Lacazette, um, putting Xhaka as a centre-back, not starting Lichsteiner? Uh, look, I, I, I never, from, from, from day one when Emery's been there, I've, always, I've never wanted to criticise him. I think he's made some great decisions at pivotal moments in the game. Did he? St uh, the fact that we're playing Jack as centre back again for the second game running, and we know that's not his comfortable. We know that's not his position, and he doesn't play well there. I think that's questionable. But then everyone would ask, who else do we play there? So the mistake that you said that it wasn't his mistake or none of the goals are, are Jacka's mistake. If you're playing centre back and you're a defender, it's your mistake. Your 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 position is to play along the line. You're meant to be there to ensure that goals are not going past you. Whether or not it's his direct mistake, it's, def it's defensively we we were shocking. So. Um, Back to Emery, I don't, I don't want to just say he, he's made a, a, a big boo-boo, but I definitely think that um, we, we need to be putting players in their proper positions. Playing Xhaka centre-back is, 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 is worthless. We've got, we, we got to strengthen it in January in that defensive area. Isn't it? It's becoming a problem now and we're missing so many players there. But I don't want to even make that excuse because we had Koscielny on the bench today. And he's a, he's a centre back. He's the it's, that, no, 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 no. He's a, it's not he the Koscielny. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a Koscielny that's no, no, coming back from... I, I think that Koscielny's better than Xhaka at centre-back. That's his position. Like, I don't want to hear none of this, oh, he's come back from injury. On Sunday. He was poor on Sunday. But everybody was yes. dead. I you see, think. this is the thing, right, is that people, everybody on Sunday was saying, it's his fault, why did we play yeah, him? He's not him. ready yet. So what, because someone's poor one game, you don't give them another chance. You know what I'm trying Put to say him, is they're bringing him back, aren't they? No, they're no, bringing but, him, but they're trying to... But you don't play a centre mid, a DM, as I said on, on Sunday. They're obviously trying to ease him back in, though, no, aren't no, they? But as I said on Sunday, you can't play a, a, a midfielder that was CDM last season, that we took out of CDM because he wasn't good defensively and now put him at centre-back. It does not make sense. Play the centre-back that we have on the bench in his right position and put Xhaka in centre-mid because he's got a great relationship with Torreira. We've seen that throughout the season. We've seen that Xhaka's performances have become better throughout the season when he's paired with Torreira. So now we've taken that nucleus away from our team and look what's happened. We've done that twice now and we've got beat both times. So that's, it's, a, it's a problem that he, he has to fix. No time to no time to waste because games are going to come thick and fast now. Burnley Saturday early kickoff, right? A game that everyone's going to come expecting us to win. They're going to come to frustrate. They've had all week off, rested, ready. Followed by Brighton Boxing Day. Followed by Liverpool. Tough Christmas period. We've got we've got a tough end to the year, but I think we need to. I'm trying to be positive about our last two losses and it's very difficult it's, it's very difficult to, that we're getting towards that Christmas period now where we always seem to kind of it seems to be our demise Arsenal seems to always crash around this period I think we need to be positive we had 22 games unbeaten and we've had two losses that's not even 10% we still need to remain positive we still need to have fight, faith in the manager and in our squad and just hope that we can gel together today didn't feel like a North London derby in the stadium it just felt like I don't even know what it felt like it didn't feel like a, a typical North London derby like it did two weeks ago we need to come back on Saturday I think we will take away three points very easily on Saturday but we no, we will. No, yeah, yeah. no, okay. You said that two games in a row, but then you also identified that we've only taken one point away from Southampton in five games. So it's not a, they're not a team that we, we was expected to beat. It's just because we've been unbeaten for so many games, why everyone said we we're going to beat them. Burnley, we can beat them. Liverpool's going to be tough, and I also think we can beat Brighton. 
But let's come back again on Saturday. Let's come back with strength. Our team needs to come back together again. I don't want us to start hammering at them and being so 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 critical because it's only two games. One like you said, one's a cup, one's a Prem game. We just need to come back and be fighting strong. By the way, I think Emery is being very, very clever here because I think Ozil's time at this club is done. He hasn't put him in the squad for a couple of games now and I think he's that's a warning to Ozil. And I think that if he doesn't fix up that he won't be here for much longer. Before we finish, Piers Morgan, I'm very disappointed in you. Fucking I've just idiot. seen you Fucking in a idiot. Spurs top doing the draw. Very, very disappointing. What? For such a for, for such somebody who's pivotal in the media and you're an Arsenal fan and an Arsenal season ticket holder, the fact that you're wearing a Spurs top is actually disgusting. Awful. It doesn't matter how much of a bet you're wearing a Spurs top, you're not a Spurs supporter. You're the, you're the rival team supporter. Why would you put on a Spurs top? Very disappointing.